Chapter 3 More on MS Excel 2016 Learning Outcomes At the end of this lesson, students will be able to Know about different keys Edit a cell in the worksheet Create a list using an autofill feature Create and copy the formulas Warm up A balanced diet makes us grow healthier and stronger Children of your age must stick to the right timetable to take proper meals. Complete the diet table of the week given below and learn how healthier the food you eat is. Teachers note From the above activity, introduce to the students that there might be chances when we want to replace some meals with others. This need modification, so it can be done easily in MS Excel worksheet. Hello friends! In the previous class, we learned the features of MS Excel 2016 and performed calculation. In this lesson, we will learn about various ways to edit the data in the worksheet. Let us learn the function of few keys that are used for modifying the data in a worksheet. Functions of keys Arrow keys To move one cell up, down, left or right, use the arrow key. The next cell in the worksheet can be selected using the shift plus arrow key combination backspace you can remove the content of the active cell by pressing the backspace key we can remove one character to the left of the insertion location by turning on the editing mode delete this key removes the content of the cell including the formula applied to the selected cell deleting the content does not affect the cell formats or comments in cell editing mode, it deletes the character to the right of the insertion point. And this key can be utilized in different ways. This key will move the insertion point to the right of the cell content if edit mode is on. To activate the last edit use cell in the lower left corner of the active worksheet, press Ctrl plus End. Enter. After entering all the text into the active cell, we can press the Enter key. As we press Enter key, the next cell would be activated in the worksheet. Home The first visible row in the worksheet will be activated when we press the Home key. Page Down To move one screen down, we can press the Page Down key. Page Up To move one screen up, we can press the Page Up key. Space Bar this key can be utilized in different ways. To select an entire column in a worksheet, press Ctrl plus space bar. To select an entire row in a worksheet, press Shift plus space bar. To select the entire worksheet, press Ctrl plus Shift plus space bar. Tab To move to the right cell of the active cell, we can press the Tab key. Entering text Follow the given steps to enter the data in the cell. Steps 1. Click on the desired cell. 2. Type the text in the cell. 3. Press the Enter key. Editing Cells We might enter the wrong text or value in the cell. MS Excel allows to quickly and easily change the cell value. Follow the given step to edit a cell in the worksheet. Steps 1. Click on the cell you want to edit. 2. Double click in the cell or press the F2 key. 3. Raise the cell data. 4. Type the new data. 5. Press the Enter key. Do you know? You can edit the cell by clicking the desired cell and making changes directly in the formula bar. Using Edit Mode To update the content of the active cell, we can use the Edit Mode. Follow the given steps to edit the content of a cell. Steps 1. Double click on the cell you want to edit. 2. Observe the cursor blinking which signifies that the cell is ready for editing. 3. Change the text and press the Enter key. Remember it! Press Alt plus Enter key combination to enter multiple data in the same cell. Auto Fill Autofill features automatically fills a series of data in your worksheet. For example, we may use the list of months and days in our worksheet frequently. 
to make it easy to enter repetitive or sequential list of information. There is a special feature in Excel called Autofill. Follow the given step to create a list using an autofill feature. Let me answer. What do you mean by automatic? Give an example of a thing which works automatically. Steps 1. Enter the first two values you want to start the series with. 2. Select both the cells in which you have entered the data. 3. Position the mouse pointer over the bottom right corner of the last selected cell. Observe the pointer change to the plus sign. 4. Drag the mouse to where you want the series. 5. Observe the cells filled with the desired value. Delete option. Deleting cells. Follow the given step to delete the cells. Steps 1. Select the range of the cells to be deleted. 2. In the cell group on the home tab, click on the drop down arrow to the delete option. 3. The delete dialog box will appear. Click on the delete cell. 4. Now choose the desired option. 5. The selected cell will be deleted. Deleting rows, columns. Follow the given step to delete the rows. Steps 1. Select the row to be deleted. 2. In the cells group on the home tab, click on the drop down arrow to the delete option. 3. Select the delete sheet row option. 4. The entire row will be deleted. Creating formulas. Formulas make the task of performing calculations easy. It let us perform simple as well as complex calculations. In MS Excel, almost all types of formulas can be applied for performing calculations. Follow the given step to perform calculation using simple formulas. Steps 1. Entire the two numerical values in cell 1, C1 and C2. 2. Click in cell C3 where you want to add the formula. 3. In cell C3, type is equal to average C1 ratio C2. 4. Press the enter key. Observe that the average of the values entered in cell C1 and C2 is displayed in cell C3. Copying a formula. There are two methods to copy a formula. Using the full handle. Let me answer. Is there any difference between the formulas you apply in maths and on the Excel worksheet? Steps 1. Click in the cell that contains the formula. 2. Position the mouse pointer over the lower right corner of the cell until it turns plus. 3. Drag the fill handle over the cell to which you want to copy the formula. Then release the mouse button using copy and paste. Steps 1. Select the cell that contains the formula and on the home tab click copy. 2. Select the cells or cells where you would be like to paste the formula. 3. On the home tab click paste. Kids IQ. Have you ever thought about why we use formulas? Let's recall. 1. To move one cell up, down, left or right use the arrow keys. 2. MS Excel allows to quickly and easily change the cell value. 3. Autofill feature automatically fills a series of data in your worksheet. 4. You can remove the content of the active cell by pressing the backspace key. 5. There are two alternative methods for copying formulas in Excel. 6. In Excel, a formula starts with is equal to sign. Upskill your intelligence. A. Fill in the blanks. 1. Dash key can remove the content of the active cell. Answer. Backspace. 2. Deleting the content does not affect the cell or comments. Answer. Formats. 3. Dash feature automatically fills a series of data in your worksheet. Answer. Autofill. 4. In Excel, a formula starts with the dash sign. Answer is equal to 5. To move one cell up, down, left or right, 
use the dash keys? Answer arrow. B. Write T for true statements and F for false statements. 1. In MS Excel, almost all type of formulas can be applied for performing calculations. Answer true. 2. Using the fill handle option, we can paste a formula. Answer false. 3. Copy option is available on the file tab. Answer false. 4. Press the F2 key to edit the cell. Answer true. 5. Formulas do not let us do complex calculations. Answer false. C. Answer in one word. 1. By pressing this key, the first visible row in the worksheet will be activated. Answer home. 2. This key is pressed to move one screen down. Answer Alt plus Enter key. 3. Key combination press to select an entire column in a worksheet. Answer Ctrl plus space bar. 4. This key is pressed to move the right cell of the active cell. Answer Arrow key. 5. The mode which is used to update the content of the active cell. Answer Edit D. Answer the following question. 1. State one difference between page up and page down key. Answer Page up. To move one screen up, we can press the page up key. Page down. To move one screen down, we can press the page down key. 2. What do you mean by the autofill feature? Answer. The autofill feature fills in a series of data in your worksheet automatically. 3. Write the function of the end key. Answer. The end key will move the insertion point to the right of the cell content if edit mode is on. 4. Write the step to edit the content of a cell. Answer. Follow the given step to edit a cell in the worksheet. Step 1. Click on the cell you want to edit. 2. Double click in the cell or press the F2 key. 3. Raise the cell data. 4. Type the new data. 5. Press the enter key. 5. How can we copy a formula? Answer. There are two methods to copy a formula. The fill handle and the copy and paste. Critical thinking. Sam wants to create a timetable for self-study. He does not want to type the name of all the days on the worksheet. Suggest to him the tool he should use to add the days automatically. Answer. Autofill features automatically fills a series of data in your worksheet. Follow the given step to create a list using an autofill feature. Step 1. Enter the first two values you want to start the series with. 2. Select both the cells which you have entered the data. 3. Position the mouse pointer over the bottom right corner of the last selected cell. Observe how the pointer changes to the plus sign. 4. Drag the mouse to where you want the series. 5. Observe the cell with the desired values. Team Work Prepare mark sheet for 20 students for the subjects English, Mathematics, Science, Hindi and Social Studies. Follow the given instruction. Insert a column of average to the right of the total column. Insert a row below the fifth row. Using autofill features, fill the roll number 1 to 20 for the students. Find the average using the formula. Answer, student will do it themselves. 